In this video I am going to demonstrate how you can create this effect, using geometry nodes in Blender. Before I even start, I would like to let you know that this effect is not limited to animating icons. I have experimented with it and I was able to use it in creating some cool animations as you can see. Here you can see an iPhone with some 3D icons. I put all the icons in their own collection, and also each icon is an individual object. The first step is to go into the Geometry Nodes workspace. You can see that I am selecting Scene Collection in the Outliner. That is because I don't want to accidentally add new objects in the icons collection. If you want to follow along this tutorial, I prepared this startup file for you, link in the description. Add in a plane, the size does not matter. But a size of 5 cm is good for this case. Rename the plane to, Plane Icons. Add a new geometry node group to the plane. Add in a scale instance node, then connect it here. The group input node is not needed. Disconnect here by holding down control key and right mouse button. Bring the icons collection into the geometry nodes. It comes in as a collection info node. Change it to relative, then enable separate children. Connect geometry to instances. Disable icons collection in viewport and in render, that is because the icons are already instanced on the plane. Go to add, empty, then plane axis. Let's reduce the radius to 5 cm. Move the empty to the side while in front orthographic view. Bring the empty into the geometry nodes. It comes in as an object info node. Change it to be relative. Add a position node and put it here. Add a vector math node, bring it here. Change it to distance. This vector math node will perform some math operations on the input vectors. Therefore, the inputs for it will be location from object info and position. The math operation we need for this one is distance. Add a map range node, bring it here. The map range node maps a value from one range to another. In this case it is useful because it will help in scaling the values of the icons within a specific range. Connect distance to value of the map range. Connect the result from map range to scale of scale instances node. Now if you adjust the location of the empty object you can see it is affecting the scale of the icons. Here you can see the icons are creating an interesting bouncing effect. To get something similar to that, first move these nodes this way. Add in a color ramp node and connect it here. Adjust black to around 0.35. Move white to around 0.7. Add two new color stops to the color ramp. Change this one to white. Now if you move around the empty object you can witness the bouncing effect. If you want to animate this, you simply switch to front orthographic view and set keyframes on position of the empty object. In case if you want to get a closer look at these animations, the Blender files are available on my Gumroad page for free, link is in the description. If you really found this video to be interesting, you should check out this one as well.